using a dentist drill to take bits of wood off. Exciting. Still taking bits of wood off with a Dremel. It's not really a Dremel, it was a 35 pound dentist drill from Amazon. Sanding, sanding, and more sanding. Speed it up. You're welcome. That's me putting little bits of lettuce on the body there. This isn't speeded up, right? so quickly I put lettuce on some guitar bodies. Yep, ready for ketchup. Here we go. Essentially a wood varnish um, and wood stain from B and Q. Oh, taking the lettuce off. Yay! Pretty. Cool mug. That is actually the back of a chest of drawers. Stolium furniture pen. It's a very dark grey, which in England we call black. Um, Using a, an interesting tool there, dishcloth. It dries really quickly. If you watch, I'll put some more on there. Yeah, look, look at that. At this point, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to do the back in any particular colour. I was just going to stain it with coffee and go over with finishing wax. See, while I was applying it and then going over, the back of the cloth was kind of wiping it off and drying it, which was annoying. By the way, if you can hear a strange noise in the background, it's just a strange noise. Thrilling. Silver!
using the same technique. Wiping. and stuff. Ah, tiny strokes technique. The finger in the middle there I also use for locating things and pointing at things that I want. Can you say someone's wiping paint onto paint? So I won't put some more on it. Look at that. Using the one-handed technique this time. It won't last. I think I was incredibly drunk. Might not even be wire wool. Could be a small mouse. Looks pretty crap at this point, actually. again. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I'm just polishing off any excess. extra paint. There's the back of the chest of drawers again. What's going to happen now? Oh, there we are. The black paint's back. At this point I'm kind of creeping myself because if it doesn't work can't sand it off because it's a very thin veneer or laminate, whatever you want to call it. Am I going to speed this up at some point? Incidentally, this is the first time I've added a voice to a YouTube video, so if I don't sound too enthusiastic, bear with me. I 
was having more fun doing this than I am sat watching it. It's... Oh! Yep, Valspar would vanish. B and Q, I think it was about seven quid. So that's another coat of black before the red. That's an action photo because it is. But you can see the red already on there. Red, ready, already, red, red, already. That's it. I think a second or third coat of the red. Third or fourth? I don't know. See, but I asked Brad Ango about uh, voiceover for YouTube. He said, don't make it boring. Sorry, but it is. See, that looks nice. Panning across a photo to make it more interesting. The little marks there, that's where I dropped the little board thing. Yeah, see, that looks tasty. Does anyone need subtitles, by the way? Yorkshire accent isn't very easy to follow. That's a hole in that board thing. <coughs> Yay! I get to do some more sanding. That's a part of my body I like to call a thumb, because it's a thumb. In my fingernails. Now you can subscribe if you want, and if you think I should do more build videos or you'd prefer future ones to not have my voice on, I don't blame you. Incidentally, that took a really, really long time. Yeah, we've seen enough of this now, come on. Have you subscribed yet? Right, so I did that, got that, made that. Ignore him. Painting. Yeah, that. It's all made out of the offcuts from the the backing of the chest of drawers. Ah, bought that. Thirty one quid. Amazon. Holes didn't line up, but made new ones. So you don't need expensive tools and a big workshop. I did the entire thing sat on my living room floor. Oh, peeling the lettuce off the headstock there. Speed it up. 